Well, hello again, and welcome to Storytime. This week, I am your hostess, Miss Carol, from the Waverly Branch. Now, I'll tell you what, I can hardly believe that Easter is coming up on Sunday already. I hope you're all looking forward to it, and this year you might even get to see your grandparents or aunts and uncles and other relatives to celebrate maybe even have an Easter egg hunt. So, let's get on with everything we have to do so that we can get to our activity. And I bet once you hear our story this week, you can figure out the activity. The story is called White Rabbit's Colors and it is about a rabbit that changes color. But that's all I'm going to say for now. So let's get to Baby Shark. Are you ready? Get your sharks out. I've got my baby shark. I hope you got yours out and are ready to sing. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. And here comes Mama shark, do 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 do. Mama shark, do 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 do. Mama shark, do 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 do. Mama shark. Whoa. Daddy shark to do to do to Daddy shark to do to do to Daddy shark to do to do to Daddy shark Uh oh grandpa's giving me some trouble today Come over here grandpa Put your fins on You know you're supposed to wear your fins. There, got them fixed. Grandpa shark, do 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 do. Grandpa shark, do 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 do. Grandpa shark, do 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 do. Grandpa shark. Grandma. And then the daddy says, are you ready? Let's go hunt to do to do do. Let's go hunt to do to do do. Let's go hunt to do to do do. Let's go hunt. And the little fish say, swim away to do to do do. Swim away to do to do do. Swim away, do 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 do. Swim away. And then, when they're all hidden in their rocks, they go safe at last, do 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 do. Safe at last, do 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 do. Safe at last, do 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 do. Safe at last. That's the end, do 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 do. That's the end, do 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 do. That's the end, do 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 do. That's the end. And now on to our story and then we'll come back for our craft. White Rabbit's Color Book by Alan Baker. There's our White Rabbit. White Rabbit's Color Book by Alan Baker is read to you with permission of Kingfisher Publishing an imprint of Macmillan Publishing. Oh! One day, White Rabbit found three big tubs of paint. Red, yellow, and blue. Sunshine yellow, she thought. Lovely. A quick dip and... Oh, what's going to happen? Yellow Rabbit 
bright as the sun. Hmm, now what about red, thought Rabbit. Do you know what's going to happen? Surprise! What's this? Orange Rabbit? Look, red and yellow together make orange. Time for a wash, thought Rabbit, and she took a shower. Red on its own this time. Splash! You can still see some drops of the orange on the floor. Whew! Red Rabbit, sizzling hot red. How cool blue looks, thought Rabbit. Hmm, what might happen here? There's a red rabbit in a blue tub of paint. And there's drops of red, orange, and yellow already on the floor. But now what will happen? What's this? Purple rabbit. Look, red and blue together make purple. I'm a very important royal purple rabbit. Princess Purple Rabbit in the shower. Eh, she got all cleaned up again. Blue will do, thought Rabbit. Blue Rabbit, icy cold blue. Burr. How warm yellow looks thought Rabbit. What's this? Green Rabbit? Look! Blue and yellow together make green. Oh dear. No more water. She can't wash off the green. Now what happens? Hmm. All that's left is a little red paint. Hmm, now what would happen, thought Rabbit, as she peeks out over the edge of the tub. Oh, and there's those red and orange drops of paint on the floor. Hooray! Brown Rabbit. Lovely, warm brown. Blue, yellow, and red together make brown. And brown's just right for me. I think that's a wonderful story about color mixing. And since it has a rabbit and it's about color mixing, can you guess what our activity for today is? You might be right. Let's go collect my things for our craft activity and find out. I think that was the perfect Easter story between the bunny and him coloring himself. So can you guess what we're going to do for our craft this week? No, not dye bunnies. No, we're going to do egg coloring. And what you can do is I printed some sheets that you can pick up from either the Monrovia branch, the Waverly branch, or the main library in downtown Martinsville. And there's a page that looks like this. Um, one like this that I know looks like it's really teeny, but um, when you get up close to it, you can read the numbers easily on it. And these are recipes, I guess you could call them, for how to make colors other than what comes in the food coloring kit. So like this one is seven drops blue and three drops pink. Um, and then this one has a whole bunch of different colors you can try. And then this one was something I'd never heard of before. Um, and it's showing the difference between normally you use boiling water and vinegar. That's this row. This row, they put orange juice in instead of the vinegar. And this row, they use vitamin C instead of the vinegar. And this row, they used an aspirin instead of the vinegar. 
And then this row, they just used water. And they got some really different colors from doing that using the same color combinations. So I'm going to do a couple of those and a couple of just regular colors for you. Um, some things to remember. Kids, you need an adult to do this because you need boiling water. And second, whatever cups or bowls or whatever you're going to use to put the dye in and color your eggs, make sure it has a big enough top that an egg will go in and come out easily, okay? So the things you need are some cups or bowls or whatever you're going to put in, one cup of boiling water for each color, and then one tablespoon of vinegar. And if you want to try the other things, instead of the vinegar, you can use one tablespoon of orange juice or one aspirin tablet or one vitamin C tablet. And now, oh, and of course you need your eggs, which I have already hard boiled and I tried coloring some earlier. So I have some in the box that have worked. Um, and some that didn't work, so I wanted to try again. My eggs are already hard boiled. If your adult hasn't hard boiled eggs in a while and doesn't remember how, you can look it up on Google and you will find out how long to do it for and how to cool them off so they turn out right. And I have a bowl to put the eggs in when they're done being colored. And because I tend to be messy, I have paper towels, which isn't a bad idea for everyone. So, to start off, I need to go get some boiling water. Now, I know you can't see that I've set out cups here, so what I'm going to do is reposition the camera so you can see the cups and see what I'm doing but you won't be able to see me during this part, okay? So just hang on. Okay, step one, boiling water. And I did try this previously and it did not melt the cups or anything. So it's okay to use boiling water in these plastic cups. But I really recommend that you have an adult do this. and make sure you have enough water to cover your egg. There, I just evened it out. Now, what's going in the first cup is going to be vinegar, like usual. Whoops, I splashed a bit, that's okay. Now, the second cup, I'm putting the orange juice in. There. The third cup, I'm dropping a vitamin C tablet in. I might have to stir that around a bit to get it to dissolve. And the fourth cup, I'm putting the aspirin in. Stir, stir, stir. Now, as you can tell, I haven't put any color, no food coloring in these cups yet. So, and no eggs either. next step I'm going to do is put my food coloring in and I tried this apricot one earlier and what happened was this was the color I got from the vinegar this was the color I got from the orange juice and then the big surprises were this was the color I got from the vitamin C, and I would call that pink. And then this was the one from the aspirin. So I was really surprised how pink those turned. I need to get this, these two to dissolve better before we can really put eggs in.
Okay, so for this one, um, I have the neon food colors here, and that set comes with a bright neon green, a pink, a purple, and a blue. Now the regular set comes with red instead of pink and yellow instead of purple. Okay, so I think the first one I want to try today, because it involves color mixing like the rabbit did, will be the deep purple. Whoops, the page doesn't want to stand up. And that takes seven drops of blue and three drops of pink. So let me stir these one more time and see if I can get this a little more dissolved. Maybe if I can get it. Uh, broken up a bit, it'll help. There. Even that's turning the water a little bit orange just from the color in the vitamin. Oh, and there. The aspirin is pretty much all dissolved. There. Okay, so what did I say? Seven drops of blue. And I'll try to get the exact amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Sometimes they come out fast and come out two at a time. So you do have to be a little careful with your counting so that you get the right recipe. And three drops pink. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now, oh, let me move these other eggs and this bowl so you can see. The one with the vinegar turned a really great blue immediately. Oh, hmm, I'm thinking it might be more of a blue than a purple, but we'll see. Oh, that one looks more purple. And then let's stir up this one with vitamin C and the one with the aspirin and get to what you guys really want to do. Now. I have a big tablespoon, so I'm going to use that to slowly put the eggs in. And I think, kids, you can do any of this, putting the color drops in, putting the eggs in, anything but pouring bo boiling water, because I'm not sure that's safe unless you're older. Okay, now we need to leave those uh, five or 10 minutes to get a real good color on them and see if we get a purple. Hmm, that's interesting. This one is looking fairly purple, but on the top, it has a bit of a green ridge. That one's looking good in purple too. So I'm going to let these sit for a few minutes while I get my next boiling water for the next color I want to try. Okay, so now our green apple eggs and our turquoise eggs, or no, those weren't the turquoise, those were the deep purple, sorry, um, have been sitting in their colors for a while. Now I'm going to do Here's one more cup of boiling water and another cup. And I am just going to do, um, here's the green, a green one and a blue one with vinegar. And it may not be a very fair comparison because those have been left in quite a while. And in order for you to see these final ones, I won't be able to leave them in the color as long. 
But let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, oh, sixteen. Okay, close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, okay. Now, before I take these other ones out, once again, I'll stir these up just a touch. Although, with just the vinegar, it mixes pretty well, so. Okay. Uh, where's my egg? There's an egg. Woo, look at that green. And, um, let me see, is it that one in the way? Yeah. You can see, I think, that this one looks pretty blue. So, now I'm going to start with the purple eggs first, taking them out. And let me see what we've got. Um, woo! Yes, that is a purple egg. if you can see that there. Um, I, oh, there's a spot where I didn't move it. Oh, you, right there, maybe you can see it, that it turned just blue and not purple, which means I didn't move it enough. <gasps> wow, that is a deep purple. This is the one that had the vinegar in it. And so that came out the color it was supposed to. Um, the one that came out the lighter purple was the one with the orange juice. And those have been sitting about an hour now while I got the other things ready and... Woo! The one with the vitamin C is a bit more of a pink color. And then, that is a definite purple, but it's kind of splotchy. This is the one with the aspirin. So, let me switch these two around. Okay. I'm trying to hold this so you can see them and compare. Vinegar orange juice, vitamin C, and aspirin. And you can see the darkest color is with the vinegar. And then they go to various shades with the other additives. Okay, now let's go and see if we got apple green. Oh. And there's one of the dogs dropping a ball because he wants me to come play. Maybe I'll get a paper towel first. And that will also protect the apricot eggs from turning green. Okay, let's see. Woo! That is definitely a neon green. That's the vinegar one. So that's probably the most green color that we'll see. And then the others will probably be a lighter color from there. Oh, this is the orange juice one and it's definitely a lighter color, but I think it's a really pretty color. It's, I would call it mint. Now, let's see, oh, the vitamin C one is an even lighter color. So I'll try and get these lined up so I can show you the comparison for these too. And then, the one with the aspirin has a little more color, but it's still pretty light. So now, 
Let me pick those up and show them to you. See? Ah. Oh no. And starting at this side is the vinegar, the orange juice, the vitamin C, and the aspirin tablet. So you can see the vitamin C one came out the lightest of all. But I love that green one that had the, had the vinegar in it. That's making really good true colors. So, oh, here's my bunny from last week watching us make eggs. I think he's saying I'm supposed to make the Easter eggs, but hopefully he'll let us slide. Now, let me see how these are looking because these are the ones with just one color. Oh, that's starting to change. It looks really yellow right now, but it's starting to change color. And then what about this one? Oh, yes. If you know me, you know I do like blue. And so this egg is really appealing to me. I like that color. I'm going to leave them in a little while longer and then we'll take them out and you can see what those look like as well and compare them to the ones that we mixed colors in, just like White Rabbit mixed colors in his book. Or should I just take them out now? No, I wanna see how green that green one gets. Two hours later. Green, but I expected a bit more green. And then let's see this one. Oh, oh, I like the color of this one. Look at that gorgeous blue this egg turned. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so now let's do a little comparing just for a second. I'm going to push the whole bowl up. Oh. Got to make sure you can see all these eggs. Well, there goes another collar shake. Okay, so let's see, which ones did we do? Um, this is just 10 drops of blue. This one was vinegar with seven drops of blue and three drops of pink. And look what a difference in color that made. Then, this was the one in vinegar with 20 drops of green and two drops of blue. So very little blue. And this is what it did to the color, which I really like. And then this one was just 10 drops of the green. And so you can see what a difference adding another color can make. And just think of all the shades you can get by just changing the numbers of drops of each color you put in. It's quite exciting. Go ahead and try it. Try to make whatever color you want. And that's it for this week. I hope you have fun with whatever adult you color eggs with, whether it be your parents, grandparents, aunt, uncle. Have fun and enjoy your Easter. Bye. See you next time.